Going back to money, um, do people just know what's what they should be doing and what's best for them? And why don't they do that? If people know they should just contribute, what do you think the reason is that they just decide, I'm not going to do this? I know I should be saving, but I'll do that tomorrow. I'm not positive, but I think it has something to do with hope. Um, I like pizza, but I know if I eat like the whole thing, that I'm going to continue to be an Oompa Loompa. Hmm. I'm going to continue to be overweight, right? And so so why is it that, you know, um, A, I don't want to pay the price to get the different result, or B, I don't believe that if I do it, it's really going to work. That's, that's called hopelessness, lack of hope. And so I don't believe if I save money, I can really be a millionaire. And even if I became a millionaire, a million is not enough. And so I'm not going to do any of it just because I don't believe it's going to end up in, with a better life for having saved that money. So I'll just spend the money and have a great weekend. And then Monday I'll be broke and have anxiety about my money again because I don't believe it's going to work. But so half of our job on the Ramsey show has been over these decades is to inject hope, cause people with math or cause people with a discussion or cause people with uh, humor or a story or someone else's debt-free scream to believe they can do it. It's one of the reasons we have eight bazillion debt-free screams on YouTube. Because I'll guarantee you there's somebody like whoever's watching this, like mm. you. There's somebody like you on there. Because, there, I mean, there's eight million. I, just, I don't know how many, uh, hundreds and hundreds, thousands now of those debt-free screams on there. So there's a single mom that's 52 years old that cuts hair, and she's on there. And so if you're a single mom and you cut hair, she's on there. She did it. That makes the social proof, you yeah. know, makes her believe she can do it. That's hope. And, and sometimes you hear me just do it with math, and you go, you know, $100 a month saved for 25 to 65 is, you know, going to be somewhere around a million, million and a half, depending on what your rate of return is. But 10 to 12%, somewhere in there, that's what you're going to have. $100 a month. So shut up. Go yep. do it. And they go, I didn't know I could do that. I, that sounds attainable. Sounds like I could do it. You go, you can do it. You can do it. And Or I got $100,000 in student loan debt, and I don't know how I'm going to get out. Okay, well, what do you make? $100,000. Okay. Well, what about $25,000 for four years? You could be out in four years. Or what about $33,000 for three years? Could you do that? Or could you work a little extra and be done in two years and live on almost absolutely nothing and your friends think you're crazy? Well, yeah, I never thought of that. It was sixth grade math. I did long division right. from the sixth grade. There's no insight here. It's that, just hope. That is so, I've never thought about it being <clears throat> hope, but it makes sense. It makes because the math really is so easy. <laughs> it is. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. You're good. That is that is a that is a unique take. I did not expect you to say that, but I, I actually really like that. You would never go to the trouble to go out in the sun with a hoe and dig up the ground and put the corn in the ground and then make sure it was watered and then make sure the weeds are killed and then keep the animals off of it so that the corn would grow. You would never go to that trouble if you didn't believe corn was going to grow. That's hope. Why would you plant corn and go to all that trouble? It's easier to sit at home and watch Tiger King on Netflix. I mean, why would you go to all that trouble, right? You, you know, why would I put myself out there? Why would I risk embarrassment? Why would I um, sweat versus not sweat? Why would I be tired versus not be tired unless I believed it was going to work? I think that can be applied to just taking action in any direction exactly. in life as well. Same as like, you know, maybe being a YouTuber. A lot of people, they, they want to be a YouTuber, but they feel like even if they put in all the time and effort to make all these videos and put themselves out there, they're not going to be successful at it. So why bother in the first place? Right. Well, 100% of them that don't try won't get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, we've done detailed research, right? <laughs> True. True. So, I mean, yeah. you may just embarrass yourself. You probably will, actually. I you do certainly pretty will. Almost certainly. I've made a good living embarrassing myself. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's uh, sometimes I look back and I go, what in the world are you doing? There's one running around YouTube right now. Somebody posted on there uh, of me at on a Christian bad. It was like a Saturday Night Live skit. Yeah. Bad Christian TV. And I'm on there, and, and it was like I was 31 years old. It was 31 years ago. And I'm just like, yeah, and you can get out of debt, and here's what this says. And I'm saying it's very country fried, and I got this little comb over going because yeah. I hadn't lost my hair yet, to your point, and all this stuff. But it, and it, but the comments on YouTube yeah. were like, he's, still, he's saying it better now. He actually looks better now, but he's saying exactly the same yeah. thing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's true. It's still the same thing. But it's, somebody dug that up, and... Oh, it's 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 a clown show. It's awful. Oh, Look gosh. at it.